One of the many privileges that a minister has is when a minister is able to bring a man and a woman together into holy matrimony. And we did that, gosh, a year ago. A year ago. And I've known Zach in Montana for some time and what a privilege it is. And then that privilege continues when they bring a child into this world and then you get to baptize that child. This is a very special day and my heart is just pumping with joy. And I say to your family, as you know, that Peggy is right here with us in her spirit because um, she loves these kids just like I do. So I turn to you, Montana, Mon <coughs> Zach, and I ask you these questions that we have asked in United Methodism for 200 plus years. Do you believe that God's love is the strongest force and power in this universe? That it is stronger than the temptation of sin and stronger than evil itself? And do you believe that your lives have been girded and guarded by God's love. And likewise, you believe that God's love is for Ryan, and he wants her to be able to grow into a healthy young girl, and that she is your most wonderful blessing that he has been able to share with you at this time in your lives. Do you believe in the Trinitarian understanding of God? There is a Father who creates, there is a Son who is our Savior, and there is a Holy Spirit that brings us together, helps us find each other, bonds us together in man and woman, husband and wife, and celebrates even more than we're capable of celebrating the joy of your baby girl. Do you believe in that God? Do you believe in the Holy Scriptures, that they reveal God's story for us, that God wants us to know Him and wants us to be able to love Him too and praise Him and thank Him for His blessings? In Holy Scripture, do you believe that the story of salvation is soundly recorded in those texts? What I just said, Montana and Zach, to our congregation, I truly mean it is such a joy and indeed a privilege for me to be here and to baptize your, your child in the name of the Trinity. Brian, hi. You usually don't see me with my robe on. Let's see. 